Good day, my plan foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we will be big box store plan shopping at the Walmart off of North Custer Road in McKinney, Texas. As always, please make sure you are hitting that like button for this video and also following me on Instagram at Grow Folds. Also subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on if you want daily one hour plan shopping videos with our plan foldy community. And for those that are new to this channel, welcome. I call my viewers and subscribers plan foldies. And today we will be going to a Walmart that I often, often frequent just to look to see if they actually have a restock of plants. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon. I just got off of work. So I figured I would go ahead and do some plant shopping and filming some plants for you to see. I definitely love talking about plants and for all of the plant foldies that continue to tune into my channel, thank you so much. Our community is growing. And so I'm just really excited to be able to show you guys what is at this actual Walmart today. And we're gonna go first into the outdoor section so it is spring it is beautiful and I always like to show you guys all of the beautiful outdoor plants as well I know the majority of you guys have probably found my channel through the indoor house plant shopping that I've been doing but it is spring and I want to show you guys a different types of plants I want to diversify the plant content here and a little birdie told me that there were some acer palmatum or Japanese maples being sold at Walmart so really excited to show you this because these are in one gallon containers for $19.95 by Garden Expert, which is pretty much Walmart's plant um, brand. And you can see there that was a Crimson Queen. And then right over here is an Acer Palmatum Blood Good or um, Japanese Blood Good. Really love the red foliage of Japanese maples. Um, for those that don't know me or haven't gotten to really know me, I also love Japanese maples. That is something that I also collect. I actually collect different types of maples, but mainly Acer Palmatum. So I will try to pepper in a little bit of some Japanese maple um, content. I love um, Japanese culture. I love bonsai. And so that kind of just leads itself to me being attracted to Japanese maples. But that's super exciting that a big box store like Walmart is carrying Japanese maples. I'm about to buy maybe two or three to add into my landscape. And in the first little hanging basket right ha we have here are some New Guinea impatience. Now, I don't know the, um, the plant price for this, but whenever you go shopping, Shopping at Walmart, you can almost be guaranteed that you will be saving some money. Um, I always recommend buying plants at Walmart if you're looking to save some money on plants because what I've found is Walmart um, across the board is probably the most cost effective big box store you can go plant shopping. Now, there are some one offs where, if say you go to a grocery store like Kroger or Sprouts, which is another local grocery store out in North Dallas, this is where I am actually based at. They have um, a little bit more cheaper plants, but for the most part, when you compare Walmart to like Home Depot or Lowe's, typically Walmart has the more cost-effective pricing. And that's why I find myself shopping at Walmart. Um, I will say that there is a debate about whether big box store plants are really healthy and if it's really, you know, the plants you want to bring into your home. I don't really have a problem with big box store plants, especially outdoor plants like this. I mean, look at this. For $12.97, you get a wax begonia mix. I actually ended up getting this wax begonia mix for $5 when I happened to get lucky to go to a Walmart out in um, West Plano, Texas. They happened to just um, make these plants clearance. So it is um, you know, an advantage to just check your big box stores. Now I do a one hour plan shopping videos. I've been doing that for quite some time now, a couple of months. And um, what I've noticed is sometimes you just get lucky. Sometimes you get lucky, you walk into a Walmart or a Home Depot or a Lowe's, and then all of a sudden you either find a really cool looking plant that's super rare or something that is on sale or clearance. And you can see here, I am going to be picking up a couple of vegetable plants as well. Um, I am going to be growing um, some vegetable plants in a grower box. And I'm interested in growing tomatoes. Now with tomatoes, you definitely want to give them full sun. And you can even see here as I pan over, I haven't seen this yet. So Walmart is now offering caladiums. Really like that red foliage on this caladium. This one is for $8.78. And 
I say this in every video that I feature caladiums, but I look at caladiums as the more colorful version of alocasia. Now, caladiums grow from a bulb, and typically when you plant um, caladiums down in a bulb, they don't really sprout until it gets a little bit hotter. So, you know, early spring, you're not really going to see caladiums, but obviously these caladiums were already grown to in warmer conditions and possibly a greenhouse. Now, I would love to be able to grow caladiums indoors, but I always get nervous about plants that are really meant to grow outdoors. Typically, when you bring an outdoor plant like a caladium indoors, their health becomes a little bit more compromised, which means they may not um, actually be the best candidate to grow indoors. Um, they will be a little bit more susceptible to maybe pests like spider mites. So we'll see. But my plant foldies or anybody that's just really discovering my channel and watching this video today, let me know if you actually have had um, success growing caladiums in your home indoors year round i would love to hear that in the comments and then right over here this is for five dollars and 88 cents really good price for this coleus this is a coleus wasabi and i actually have coleus wasabi it's got a neon green yellowish tone about this coleus what i like about this coleus too it is a very vigorous grower its leaves get quite big and i actually personally have one in my collection five dollars and 88 cents by better homes and garden i love all of the better homes and garden coleus plants i think that when you go to walmart and buy um these plants you will definitely save some money um coleus plants are my current plant obsession i talk about coleus all the time i have added so many coleus in my plant collection i have propagated coleus plants and you know it is my mission to encourage more plant um lovers to grow coleus plants but i am actually trying something new with just my content so i obviously want to continue to with um the big box or plant shopping videos but in between i want to insert some you know commercials so stay um you know stay with me i'm going to go back to the main um program with the walmart feature but i wanted to show you this do you see this beautiful coleus wasabi well this is my actual coleus wasabi that i bought um about that same size as that coleus and you can see that it is an eight inch planter it is really large and it has grown for me substantially i do plan to chop this up a little bit and actually create maybe four Four or five um, plants from this um, the, the the beautiful thing about coleus plants is that you can propagate them quickly when you actually chop them up it actually encourages them to push out more shoots um, it is encouraged that you pinch back the new growth in order for it to actually get bushy but as you can see right here um, this plant is about two and a half feet tall i haven't had this plant for a while i repotted it in a beautiful modern um planter that i bought from target um, from the threshold line i love that simple um, white matte planter and actually if you are watching this this is the first week of may target has actually um got these planters these threshold planters on sale for 30 percent off if you buy them online so you know i'm also trying to get people to find places where you can be more cost effective and save money on your plant supplies so i would encourage that if you're looking for the same planters i use for my plants definitely go to target and buy the threshold line of those matte um, simple planters but as you can see right here look at how beautiful these leaves are look at how velvety they are and with this coleus plant it does prefer to be in more shaded areas it prefers bright and direct light in the morning protection from the afternoon sun um, it is a coleus that i love even if it seems to be like a common coleus if you like this coleus the same one that i'm growing like this one right here you can go to your local wall Walmart and hopefully you will find it they're releasing a, a couple of new coleus um, varieties so we're going to check that out anyways we are back at the main program this is for $12.97 and this is an impatient hanging basket love impatient flowers those ones are specifically for the um the shade and you can see right over here i've actually bought this coleus this is um coleus ruby slippers look at how red the foliage is it just has some subtle yellow um edging on the you know the borders what a beautiful coleus and then when you put it right next to that coleus wasabi there is just a high contrast about it and that's the the thing i love about coleus plants they have such beautiful colors such um beautiful leaf um shapes and sizes and it's just such a cool looking plant i can see why um this plant could be hybridized to have different types of breeds because they are easy to grow from seeds as well i wanted to show you this one as well so notice that this coleus um red slipper um, not red slipper, ruby slippers has a lot more um, smaller foliage. 
Well, look at here. If you look, somebody has chopped the, um, the top part of this coleus down. And after chopping the main trunk, you can see that three new shoots have popped out. So it is a little bit more of a bushy plant. Um, I think that's really interesting. So again, if you want to um, make your coleus plant branch out, all you have to do is literally to, um, chop up the top part and it will continue to push up multiple branches. I like the look of this coleus and it's interesting because this is also the same coleus um, ruby slippers but notice how it's got yellow on the on the border so um, while coleus plants are um, similar I would say unless they are literally propagated from um, cuttings the seeds are going to look slightly different so they may not necessarily be um, um, as you know the same plant but you can see right here this is by garden expert this one is a little bit cheaper for 697 it's a larger coleus um it's got more of a bronze um tone about it i actually have this coleus as well so if you notice i basically go to big box stores and if i see a coleus plant that i don't have i will definitely buy it you know i want to have this like plant budget but right now as i do plant shopping videos daily it is very challenging very difficult for me to stay within budget you know i give myself like a 20 dollar budget but when you think about it you um if i have a 20 dollar budget to spend every day um, for at least five days a week that is a hundred dollars a week you know for five days you know in a month i would be spending four hundred dollars on plants and that's not really feasible so i need to slow down a little bit and i don't know if you plant foldies or anybody that loves plants has um gotten yourself in a bind where you see beautiful plants like this like this is a calibrintro calibrichoa i think that's how you pronounce it um look at that mixed planter of red orange and yellow blooms i really like that these are the warmer colors but you know it makes you want to pick this up put it on a, um, in a patio in a, in a sunny patio and you will actually you know spend more money that's 17 dollars and 88 cents and that's the reason why i i don't even know what to do with myself in terms of just these plants because not only do i like indoor tropical plants i love flowers like these super tunia by um proven winners it's absolutely stunning and i've said this in every single video that i've, that I've been doing for the last five months um, petunias are the flower of the hour you can find them everywhere and it's so cool that they have all of these different types of hybrids like i am highly impressed that you know super tunias petunias they've got it all and then you can see right over here this is another um super bells cali calibrichoa calibrichoa that is a little bit of a tongue twister but look at how tiny the leaves are they are not petunias um but they look like miniature petunias and you can see right over here um uh, proven winners have has another um, type of um, flower right here. Let's take a look at it. This is a, a verbena, I believe, for $5.97. Full to part sun is what it's saying. But look at how beautiful that flower is. That subtle, um, you know, lavender look about it. It's absolutely stunning. But for those that are into flowers, um, let me know what other flowers you want to see. I am going to just try to diversify my plant. Um, content a little bit more um i would say my plant youtube's um intent is really just to take you alongside whenever i go plant shopping so whether it's indoor house plants tropical plants um, landscaping japanese garden rose garden um, herbs vegetables um flowers i want to just feature all of that and then right over here for 1097 is a japanese aurelia or fatsa japonica um this is a beautiful looking one now it says it's the spider's web one but i don't think this is a spider's web one because it's all it's only got like green foliage unless the spider's web um variegation appears when it gets a little bit bigger but i really don't think it is i think it's a um you know a mislabeled plant but it's you know japanese aurelia are plants that you can grow as perennials depending on your growth um your grow zone my grow zone is 8b and i've been able to see them actually tolerate the really harsh winters and come back in the spring and then you can see here more beautiful petunias love that pastel canary yellow look on that that is for $17.97 and as I pan over here you can see they've just got so many plants um, I do like shopping in the late afternoon just because the lighting is really nice and um, I like to just show you all of the different types of plants that Walmart has it's really interesting that a lot of you um, viewers have mentioned that the plants um, the big box stores like the Walmart in the North Dallas area are super organized in stock. Really excited about that because 
I would, you know, give Walmart, at least the ones in my area, some credit. They have really brought in some amazing looking plants. And I love the, all of the beautiful colors. Like this one right here is a sweet potato vine for $3.97. One thing you can note is these, um, these leaves right here, you can actually eat. These are edible. Um, I obviously do your research, but, um, I have been able to eat these as well. Um, I'm Filipino and, you know, proud to be Filipino. And whenever we make some of our dishes, we actually use potato vine leaves um, for our soup. So that might be something you might want to delve into. Again, um, before you um, start eating these leaves, make sure that you do your research on these Better Homes and Garden potato vines. I don't want to be responsible for anybody getting sick if you're just eating that. But I know that potato vines are typically, typically um, edible. I don't know what the you know the the flavor will register for you but um, needless to say very vigorous plant a plant that definitely needs full sun now these are some more co coleus plants now this is a coleus let's take the look this is a coleus campfire for five dollars and 88 cents beautiful looking coleus it's a little bit more orange as compared to the ruby slippers now with coleus plants um, um to sum up their plant care coleus plants need bright indirect light they prefer to be in shade unless they are specifically called a sun coleus or a flamethrower those um, types of coleus are hybridized coleus that can take full sun but for the most part coleus need to be in more bright indirect light so like a shaded area where it gets like morning sun and then um, protection from the late afternoon um, coleus plants also are very thirsty plants meaning if you're going to grow coleus plants in containers you are pretty much going to have to water them every single day for hot environments like north dallas in the summer where it's 100 degree weather you will need to go water them in the morning possibly in the, um, the middle of the day and in the evening that's how thirsty these plants are and what happens is if you don't water them they will click quickly um droop and potentially have the leaves um crisp up but you notice this one right here this is a coleus campfire but look at how this is a little bit different actually it's not even a little bit different it is a lot more different than the coleus campfires i'm looking at here this one has more yellow i might actually buy that coleus because that's an interesting looking texture and then you can see right over here this is another coleus um campfire for five dollars and 88 cents look at how beautiful the leaf is it's got like a air um a red orange tone about it it's got a velvety texture there's a um, certain satin shine about it and with coleus plants they're very um they're very versatile in the way you can grow them. You can grow them in the landscape. You can grow, grow them in the container. You can grow them indoors. You can grow them as like a tree form. You can even grow them as a bonsai, like in an actual shallow pot. And you can train the, um, the leaves to be more like branch-like by trimming it back. So there are so many uses for coleus and I just absolutely love it. And I hope that I can influence you guys into buying them and actually treating them as a house plant. And you can see here, this is my first time actually seeing this coleus flamethrower for five dollars and 88 cents um actually at walmart um i've seen this at local plant nurseries like callaway's nursery which is another plant nursery i often frequent please um definitely check out my past um view uh, my past videos of callaway's nursery um, they have a bunch of these coleus plants, but this is the, from the flamethrower series, which means these coleus can actually be grown in full sun. Notice how this coleus plant here has a different type of leaf shape. Really love that neon green um, variegation on it. I'm not sure the potential of how big this coleus plant is going to get, but if you notice, the campfire actually gets fairly large. And then I also wanted to give you a little bit snippet on like um, another coleus plant. This is a personal coleus plant that I have been um, growing and so I've been growing this for a while but one thing I wanted to show you is notice how there are blooms here so these blooms have been on this coleus plant for about two weeks and ever since I let these blooms just grow the coleus plant hasn't actually pushed out any new growth so there's no more um, leaves which brings me to tell you if you're growing a plant like a coleus plant for its foliage obviously when the blooms um, appear the plant is actually putting so much more energy um, into the blooms versus growing foliage so the best thing to do if you want it to get bigger because i'm surprised that this um, coleus plant hasn't gotten any larger but i can understand why it's because of the flower 
flowers you want to go ahead and cut back the flowers that way the um, plant can actually focus on growing leaves versus growing flowers and seeds eventually i will let some of my coleus plants grow some seeds so i can collect them and grow them for next year but that's just a little tip for about coleus um plants here is um you know some more views of this beautiful coleus flamethrower i don't know the specific type of coleus flamethrower it is but what i do know is look at how beautiful the green leaves are and then i love the look of the coleus wasabi plant um this is such a neon um, color plant love the the look of it and you know it has large foliage and it's one that i've already been growing mine is about two and a half feet tall two and a half feet um you know in, in, like width as well and i am planning on chopping it back substantially and now i've shown you guys how to propagate coleus plants in some of my other vi uh, previous videos i premiered in the last week and hopefully i can really multiply my plant to where i can even have like a full tray to possibly do as plant giveaways for my loyal plant full these now if you haven't um checked out my instagram please follow my instagram at growfold i have a reel there where if you like it tag um three minimum friends and for every tag to that reel is an extra entry you will be entered to win a free monstera Thai constellation so definitely check that out if you like a monstera Thai constellation it is a random drawing and so everybody has a fair shot to check um to win that monstera but you can see right here these are some gerbera um daisies these ones are five for five dollars and 88 cents by better homes and garden i've seen this a lot at like grocery store it's a beautiful flower and and you know there's a different types of um, colors for it i do like the white flowers i've talked about how i like love the look of white flowers because there is a certain elegance and simplicity around it and as i pan over here there's so many beautiful flowers most of those pink petunias and then we can see right over here i'm going to keep looking at some of these gerbera daisy look at this one right here this is a beautiful one again for five dollars and 88 cents um, this one is a nice scarlet red daisy look at that um i haven't personally grown these daisies i do like the flower they remind me of sunflowers if you notice the um the texture of the leaves are super cute um so that's another thing about big box store plant shopping especially when you're looking at outdoor plants i love that this walmart and actually the majority of walmarts i've visited have really upkept their their plants now most of these plants are actually taken care of by altman um, plant nursery those are where most of these plants are being sourced out and i actually actually happened to meet a couple of those plant vendors i love how diligent they are about maintaining the outdoor plants and um you know you can see beautiful outdoor plants like this this is a lantana right here i love lantanas this is the yellow variety lantanas are very drought tolerant can tolerate very hot conditions so they are a perfect um flowering mounding shrub if you want to call it that um, for texas um, landscapes so i planted a bunch of those actually in my backyard and we'll see if they will actually spread and become beautiful and have you know so many different types of colors so i'm super excited about that and then plant foldies i wanted to show you this canna lily this is for 1697 canna lilies are perennials and again for those that don't know what perennials means perennials means that the, the plant can grow for an entire season it'll grow spring um, summer fall and die off in the winter and then we'll come back the following year when i think of perennial plants i think of plants once a perennial plant is um, placed into the ground it is a permanent plant and then over here is a new plant i haven't ever seen this is a beer beard tongue um, plant look at this look at that um you know the the narrow leaves and then look at that beautiful pink bloom really like the look of that as well and i have to commend better homes and gardens they have been really coming out with some amazing looking plants and then for my plant foldies again shout out to all of the canadian plant foldies i wanted to say hello to kathy alfred cindy um anybody else that is from canada thank you for always tuning into my channel i um, really like that a lot and i really hope my canadian plant foldies will eventually get more plants that we get um, out in north dallas um, there's just so many beautiful plants and that's the thing about these outdoor plants i just can't get you know get over them look at this this is so beautiful this is another beard's tongue for nine dollars and 74 cents by um better homes and garden now better homes and garden also has some amazing looking modern 
contemporary planters you know if you're gonna ask me my aesthetic of like what kind of planters i use i love very simplistic uh, planters very minimalistic you know no textures smooth surfaces matte um, surfaces i love terracotta pots just the main you know plant terracotta pot as well so if you want to know what my aesthetic is for plant styling that is it and you can see their beautiful petunia and then i wanted to show you this so there is this term called prop lifting where basically you can see like a a piece of a branch or, or a stem has fallen off of that portalaca for instance and some people have asked some of the staff um, at a big box store if you could just take that dead and not even dead that um that piece of um cutting home um i mean eventually the the staff or the big box store eventually just sweeps it up and throws it away but if you actually took those portalaca um stems that have just fallen off or got um, broken off stick it in water and you can root it and get you a free plant so i actually saw that it was quite interesting it was called how to get free plants and it, it was like a youtube video that had gotten two hundred over two million views and when i really watched it it was just interesting because the girl that featured it um called it prop lifting where basically again you just find some um broken branches off of some of these plants ask the um big box store if they could potentially let you have it it doesn't hurt to ask i don't know if they will always say yes but that is um what they call prop lifting it's, it's an interesting term um, anyways, let me get back to the main program and that's just to show you guys these plants. This one is for $5.88. So I actually like this fuchsia plant right here. Look at that. It looks like um, very delicate bells or ring chimes. Um, really like that a lot. This is another plant that I would consider um, getting as well. This is another, I think it's a perennial plant. And I'm going to look at over here. So these are some more garden export plants. Um, lots of beautiful plants right over here. This is another Calibrichoa um, flower. Notice that these look like miniature petunias, but they're not petunias. Their care is similar. They do like full sun. You've got to give these petunias in the Calibrichoa full sun, super color in any type of weather. This is for $17.88. No, it's a pretty big planter actually. And you know, these, these planters, uh, flower planters it's just a good way to just bring a lot of color a pop of color into your um, outdoor space um, i love flowers i ended up finding some clearance flowers like some um, yellow marigolds for a dollar and so i you know want to always visit these walmarts and for those that actually live it out out in the dallas fort worth area if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on sometimes we can subscribe to a youtube channel but if you don't have the notification bell on you won't necessarily get Get the notification for when the the, um, the videos premiere or get uploaded um, sometimes youtube may not even um, recommend um, a video to you even if you're subscribed to the channel unless you are constantly watching the video so hopefully my plan foldies you continue to go click on my videos whenever you see them recommended because that helps with the youtube um recommending it to even more people that may not have necessarily found my youtube channel and then over here, my favorite plant, or one of my favorite plants, this is a variegated ajuga in a four pack for $7.47. Look at that beautiful texture. It looks very um, much like a vegetable plant, but I am actually growing this particular plant in a six and a half inch planter, and it is doing very well. Now this plant is very versatile. You can um, grow it in lower light conditions like shade or full sun. Now, if you give this particular ajuga plant full sun, it will give you beautiful variegation, actually more variegation. And then right over here, this is some type of ground cover, cover um, succulent called sedum. Really nice looking um, texture of this, but this is definitely some type of ground succulent. This one is for $7.47. Really like the look of this one as well. And as I walk over here, more plants, and I know this is y'all's favorite. I don't know if you guys are going to stop watching it when you hear me say, Hedra Helix or hedera helix is the correct way to say it for english ivy this is a ground cover and if you are new to my channel yes i do mispronounce hedra helix um, instead of saying hedera helix because it was a mispronunciation that i started a little while back somebody corrected me but for some reason my uh my regular plant foldies really like me saying hedra helix 
And so that was, it's not really going to disappear. Hopefully that doesn't deter you guys from watching my plant content. It's just something that I do for myself. It's so for my lo um, loyal plant foldies. So hopefully you'll bear with me. I will try not to say it as much. There was just one episode where I literally said Hedra Helix like 22 times, but that's not going to be this video today. I promise. Anyways, here is another um, um, ajuga plant, variegated ajuga plant. This one is gorgeous. Look at that. So you've got purples, pinks, creams, and this one is for $4.34. Um, I actually bought this a little while back, put it in a six inch, uh, six and a half inch planter, and it is growing, it is spreading, it is, and I'm loving it. But notice this right here. I love variegation, especially cream, pink, purple variegation. Look at that. Do you see that almost white variegated leaf? Now, um, obviously, that may not last, but look at how healthy the roots are, too. For $4.37, um, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. This looks like a snow white waffle plant, but you know what? It's not going to be as finicky. Like, literally, this looks like a snow white waffle plant. If you haven't seen a snow white waffle plant, it's basically an exotic angel's plant that costs a far farms um, actually pushes out to a lot of big box stores it's a more finicky plant the ajuga plant is not but i did want to go over here so it looks like there is another um palette of japanese maples i almost want to just buy all of these japanese maples because i'm afraid that these japanese maples may not actually make it to a good home now the care tips for japanese maples are they need to be grown um I would suggest not growing them in containers unless you are in more uh, in weather that is actually more consistent like California because if you try to grow um, Japanese maples in containers in Texas it'll get too hot to where like even if you're watering the plant the, the plant is literally boiling in its pot because it's like 100 plus degree weather so Japanese maples or Acer palmatum are typically um, better grown in the ground and honestly the best time to grow these Japanese maples and put them in the ground is actually earlier spring it is getting a little bit too late to plant these in the ground but i do intend to buy at least two of these japanese maples like this one right here is an acer palmatum or i think it was an acer dissectum crimson queen look at how beautiful the um the lace leaf is on this now this is actually a more delicate japanese maple because the leaves are a little bit um more fragile looking and it may not tolerate as nearly as hot you know condition as the blood good but Anyways, I wanted to also show you another personal plant of mine. Now, this is my favorite um, Swedish ivy. I love Swedish ivy because it is so easy to grow. It is another plant that is typically grown outdoors in hanging baskets, but... I am actually going to be growing this indoors. I've actually asked a lot of the um, plant nurseries whether this is a plant you can grow indoors. They said yes, as long as you can give it bright and direct light. Um, but look at this. So I actually bought this um, plant um, out at Callaway's Nursery. I, again, it is a local nursery and it was a lot smaller. Now it is starting to trail. So I can actually chop this up down here, make a couple of cuttings, stick it in water and it will root. It will root just as easy as a coleus plant. So I have this actually in my front patio under um, the shade and it is doing very well. This is called the um, Swedish Ivy White Edge. And you can see how beautiful this variegation is. It's such an easy, easy plant. And I find growing plants outdoors a lot easier, even, um, you know, for plants that are meant to grow indoors. But I love the fact that this is a versatile plant. You can grow this indoors. So we're going to see if I can grow this indoors long term. I also love the fact that I can get free plants and save some more money on plants by propagating. So plant folies, what do you think about the Swedish Ivy? I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite favorite plants because it's so easy to take care of literally you just water it once a day it's not finicky or fussy but maybe that's because it is outdoors it'll be interesting to see if i can grow this indoors i actually have a yellow variegated one called um Swedish Ivy guacamole that I saw at the Great Outdoors, which is another local plant nursery out in Austin, Texas. But plant foldies, what do you think about my Swedish Ivy plant, the, the white edge? Isn't it lovely? And I only um, got it for $2.99 and it's already exploded in its growth. So love that. And you can see we're back indoors now. So we're inside this actual Walmart and I have to commend this Walmart. It does um, keep its plants fairly healthy. There are a qu quite a bit of plants and I love the fact that they uh, merchandise their plants very nicely so they've got all these different tables they're spread out um, you know they're spread out to where you have enough space to just kind of freely walk 
around. They could actually get more plants and more tables if they really wanted to, just because they have so much space in this outdoor um, section. So we're just gonna walk over here and look at these plants, these tables of plants. I really love the round tables. And we can see, what do we have here? So we've got a bunch of Sansevieria snake plants, Calatheas, Begonias. We've got a bunch of Cuddly Cactus, Epipremnum Arium, Golden Pothos, Philodendropene Princess, Philodendron um, Ring of Fire, and all of those are um, sourced out by Grower's Bench. So we've got Costa Farms plants and Grower's Bench plants. So we're just gonna take a look and see what plants we have available, at least in this table. I love the look at these plants right here. And you notice that there are so many Epipremnum Arium Golden Pothos. We've got some Philodendron Burke in there with some nice white variegated leaves. And then we have a classic Epipremnum Arium Global Green Pothos. And then I'm just gonna walk over here as well to show you all of the beautiful Philodendron Pink Princess. These are by Grower's Bench and all of these Philodendron Pink Princess are for $24.47. We've got Blooming Anthuriums. We've got a bunch of um, Majesty Palms and we've got another Acer Palmade and Bloodgood. I'm actually gonna go pick this up. I might actually get three now just because look at this right here. Two of them I'm gonna actually gift to, um, um, to somebody and we'll see if that'll grow in their landscape. They've got a lot of um, really tall trees, like some live oaks. So with Japanese maples, if you grow them as an understory tree under like a live oak or a, um, some type of tree that is really large to provide shade, it does very well. But you can see right over here, these are for $14.97 in a self-watering planter. Calathea medallion. Calathea medallion has some beautiful um, texture. It looks like feathers and the purple undertones are really cool. Love calatheas but they don't necessarily love me a very finicky plant they need to stay moist so meaning that they have to have consistent watering and they need higher humidity for their leaves to not brown and here's another somewhat finicky plant but not really this is a ficus lyrata or a fiddle fig leaf plant this one is for $14.97 and what's interesting about this plant is it can get as tall as 20 feet tall in the right conditions and then over here, classic begonia maculata. This used to be such an expensive plant, like a plant this size about three to four years ago would cost about like $50. And now you can get it for $19.84 in a six inch planter by Costa Farm. So really excited about that. And then I also want to show you this. It looks like somebody changed their mind on this coleus plant. This one is for $6.97. It's a beautiful looking coleus plant. It's definitely got a different um, leaf texture about it and shape, but Needless to say, beautiful burgundy color. And then one of my favorite pothos, actually all the pothos are my favorite pothos. This is an Epipremnum Arium Global Green Pothos for $19.84. Cost of Farms Trending Tropical. Love the green on green variegation. Um, in order to get that type of green on green variegation, you really want to provide it with a lot of bright indirect light. If you're growing them indoors and you don't have enough lighting to give it, just grow it under a grow light and you will get the best green on green variegation. And I would also assume for the Philadelphia dendron birkin right here like look at how beautiful the leaves are um for a walmart plant i love this and i really hope that somebody will pick this philodendron birkin and really provide a great home for it um that's the thing whenever i go plant shopping as well especially at walmart i just hope that you know the staff takes care of these plants um, I'm even willing to volunteer to put like water in these self-watering planters so they don't have to um, worry about watering them. Um, I mean, that's how much love I have for plants. And even doing this plant journey where I'm literally um, blogging about plants, utilizing my plant shopping videos to just literally have a, a one-way conversation. At least you can't talk to me back, but at least if you're ever lonely or if you want somebody to just listen to to talk about plants, definitely binge my plant content. I have a lot of um, playlists already that you can just check out on my channel. So if you want, you know, hours of me talking about plants, maybe educating you about plants, definitely check out the playlist, my plant foldies. Um, you can do your plant chores. You can just relax. And then for those that have actually left comments for my plant video saying that, you know, after a long days of work, you find my videos relaxing. Thank you so much. That actually means a lot to me. And I appreciate that. 
And then right over here, we've got a Philodendron Pink Princess. Look at that variegation. Actually, this is a really pretty good variegation on the Philodendron Pink Princess. What you want to do now that Philodendron Pink Princess is a more common Philodendron, I would say it's a common Philodendron because you can see it everywhere, is really looking for the variegation. So um, Philodendron Pink Princess, I've said this in all of my videos in the past, their variegation is not necessarily influenced by the amount of light you give it. Some plants are, but it's actually influenced by the the original genetics of a philodendron pink princess so for instance if you find one that doesn't have variegation on all of the leaves then typically that um philodendron pink princess may not push out as much variegation so i would say now that the pricing has gone down for philodendron pink princess be more selective just because you go into a store and then all of a sudden you find a philodendron pink princess it doesn't mean you have to buy the philodendron pink princess if it's not the one for you now obviously if you still prefer to get a philodendron pink princess that's not as variegated and you're more of a fan of the dark foliage plant by all means definitely do that because um, I've learned even just interacting with the plant foldies and people who just love plants in general, everybody has their own uh, uh, plant aesthetic of what they, they, they like, what they grow. And, you know, it's really interesting to learn from that. But you can see here, I do like that particular anthurium, the pink one. That is for $14.97. Um, if you haven't caught on to this, I love pink plants. I love variegated plants. I love green plants, but anything pink or cream in its variegation, I am all about it. And any plant that's like actually super colorful, like coleus plants or aglonema, I'm all about that as well. And then you can see right over here, we've got another anthurium. And then we also have a beautiful diphenbachia here for $9.97. I'll hand it to Walmart, all of the six inch planters that are actually being sourced from Costa Farms. Um, I know Lowe's has them for $12.97. I believe that, um, you know, if Home Depot carries them, it would be around the same range. So $9.97 for a six inch starter planter is an amazing deal. And then you can see right over here, my grower's bench, another cuddly cactus. This one is for $14.97. Um, I love the terracotta look of this plant. Really lo I love the texture of that actual um, planter. It could work for me, but just the terracotta is really nice as well. And then over here, we've got um, some philodendron ring of fire. This one is um, actually a pretty small one. Um, I would assume all of these Philodendron Ring of Fires, Philodendron Pink Princess that we see at these big box stores have just been mass produced and tissue cultured. But look at that variegation of this Philodendron um, Ring of Fire. Mine isn't um, doing as well as it. It's not really declining in its health, but it's definitely not pushing any new growth. And I repotted it in a eight inch planter. I know it might be a little bit larger, but it's actually a larger philodendron. Um, when Growers Bench released this um, early in January, I was shocked. I was excited. I was ecstatic. I was happy because the actual philodendron ring of fires were a lot larger. Now these ones are not nearly as large, but I mean, they've got beautiful variegation. Look at that. It's very much all over the the plant. Um, I also have a philodendron um, golden crocodile, which is basically just the yellow form of this plant. I am interested to see how big I can get this plant to grow. But if you are still in the hunt, and this is really sad here, like look at this, like you can see that the roots are still pretty good. I wish somebody could like um, rescue it. If they clearance this out, maybe I can go back on Tuesday if it's still around. I might ask for a discount and rescue it. But as you can see here, beautiful plant styling and merchandising. This particular Walmart is um, really good about that. So we're just going to be walking over to see what other plants that they have available here. And over here, we've got a beautiful Alocasia Ninja. Um, it's sometimes mistaken as an Alocasia Black Velvet. This one is by Growers Bench again. This one is for $17.47. Really like the look of it. It's got a nice velvety texture about it. And um, this one is an Alocasia Cupria. Um, I have yet to get this Alocasia. It's an Alocasia I feel like is very delicate looking. It doesn't look as stable as some of these other Alocasias, but I have bought all of those 
fancy alocasias ex um, as well, except the alocasia cuprea. And you can see they got some more uh, more uncommon philodendron, or should I say common now, just because they're in the big box store. But you can see here, this is a beautiful philodendron um, white princess. This is for twenty four forty seven. Again, look at that variegation here, and you can see that this has been popping up at several big box stores. I've even seen this um, philodendron. Um, white princess out at Walmart and also out at Target. The Hilton um, Carter line has it. And you can see here, this is my personal plant. So this is my philodendron white princess that I um, um, potted up in a eight inch planter you know that um, actual growers bench plant? Well, I bought that um, same plant um, back in January and notice how large this plant has gotten um, since January when I first bought it. I put it on a moss pole right here. So as you can see, there's a new growth point coming around. This is one of my favorite plants in my plant collection. So I haven't done a full blown um, house plant collection tour, but I am featuring some of my plants right here. I want to actually show you some of these plants when they're actually displayed so I just literally have this on the floor um, on my wooden floors but as you can see here what do you think about this philodendron white princess um, look at how large the leaves have gotten I love the newest leaf right over here it recently unfurled and you can see that there is a splash of that white variegation here really love the look of this plant I actually like the plant that um, this plant that it's not too variegated because with a little bit more green variegation it makes it a little bit more of a vigorous grower there's more of chlorophyll for the plant to actually photosynthesize meaning that the plant will be a little bit more of a vigorous grower but you can see right here beautiful plant and if you notice that very bottom leaf is a little bit more um, smaller some of that variegation i had it um, trimmed back because um it actually just crisp up and brown. So if you ever wanna just make your plant look aesthetically pleasing, you can always cut the browning edges with a pair of scissors and it is okay. But I also notice how shiny and healthy looking the leaves are here. So I actually use what I now call as the um, foldy mist, the plant foldy mist, which is basically my DIY neem oil spray um, plus um, pest control spray that I make, which is basically two tablespoons of um, cold pressed neem oil, two tablespoons of rubbing alcohol, um, two tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide, um, a drop of dish, Dawn dishwash soap, put it in a standard um, spray bottle, fill it up with water, shake, 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 spray it and you got a beautiful shiny plant like this like absolutely beautiful looking philodendron white princess let me know what you think of my personal plant here i am really proud that i've been able to grow this that large and it was just as small as that one philodendron white princess that i showed you at walmart so you can see that i've been doing a lot of little commercial breaks i hope you guys like the um that i'm able to do that and you can see look at how beautiful that leaf is here Anyways, so if you ever want to grow a plant like that size, I actually bought it at a big box store like Walmart. And you can see here, this is actually one of the best variegated looking um, philodendron ring of fires I've seen at a big box store at this particular Walmart. And I also wanted to show you another personal plant of mine. So this is a ficus lyrata uh, or fiddle fig leaf. This is the one that I bought from Sprouts Grocery Store out in McKinney, Texas. This plant was actually... 99 cents 99 cents i repeat to you this is a plant that i saved a lot of money because i happened to go into sprouts and um they were trying to liquidate all of the uh, fiddle fig leaves they weren't necessarily declining in health i believe they were just trying to sell them so they can make room for new plants but as you can see here i've had this plant for a little while now and it has pushed out about three new leaves the largest leaf was a, a newly um, unfurled leaf and you can see that it's pushing out a new leaf as well i love the natural um, shine of a fiddle fig leaf um, or fill fig tree and I'm hoping that I can actually grow this into a full-blown tree. You know, for 99 cents, that is not a bad price at all. I mean, plant foldies, what do you think? I have used my um, plant foldy uh, mist um, which is another spray and you can see right here this um, leaf fell off but you know that leaf was ready to go it was yellowing but you can see here this is a beautiful looking ficus lyrata what do you guys think about my personal ficus lyrata you can see there is a new leaf growing um, and we'll get some more uh, footage of that but I wanted to show you this 
so excited that I was able to find all of these plant finds here. So this is a philodendron myoi. Yes, a philodendron myoi. Now this is a semi-juvenile form. As it get, gets more mature and grows up a, a pole, its leaves will fenestrate and become even more um, separated. And this is a philodendron um, silver sword. That is a beautiful philodendron silver sword. Again, I love the gray leaves on that. And then I picked this up right here. This is another philodendron white princess. Gorgeous variegation. You saw my philodendron pink princess and how large it's gotten over the last couple months. Really love this as well. I'm almost tempted to get another philodendron pink princess, perhaps this. That one is for $24.47. And then this is a philodendron um, ring of fire. Love the variegation. Now, if you're going to ask me about all of these plants that I'm showing you, every Every single philodendron I'm showing you right now needs bright and direct light. Now, I don't know what this particular uh, plant is. I'm going to assume this is a philodendron or maybe an anthurium, but I think it's a philodendron. So plant foldies or anybody that's an expert, please let me know. I really, really want to know what that plant ID is because it is a new plant. It's the only philodendron or plant that I saw um, at this big box store Walmart because I actually found it on this shelf right here. So there was a lot of these different types of plants. Plants. And over here, they've got another philodendron myoi. Super excited. I haven't seen that at Walmart. And all of those plants are actually being sourced by Growers Bench. Um, so thankfully, you know, Growers Bench is actually putting out some uncommon plants as well, not just Costa Farms. Now, this is a Costa Farms plant right here. This is a philodendron, not philodendron, Monstera Peru. Sorry, but this is a beautiful philodendron myoi. Now, this is for $24.47. If I already didn't have a philodendron myoi that I bought at Home Depot by Proven Winners, I would definitely snatch this up. I actually might still get it because I love the look of this plant. I am looking for a variegated philodendron myoi. I think those would be stunning. And I talked about getting a Monstera Deliciosa, um, just a green form, because I don't really have a nice looking one anymore. The other one I had a long time ago ended up getting mealybugs, and I just couldn't fight, you know, continue to fight that battle. And I have one that I did propagate. It's living in my garage. I need to just um, stop plant abusing it and actually repot it, put it outside, and let it grow. But this one actually has perfect leaves. Um, for a big box store, typically when you go to a big box store like Lowe's, Home Depot, or Walmart, like whenever a new leaf unfurls, there's some damage, but this one, it does not. And so I am tempted to get this as well. It's actually unfurled two new leaves. That one's for like $24. $4.97. I may come back for that on Tuesday when I'm off, but we will see. Again, when you think about, you know, if you have a plant budget and you're spending $30 a day, uh, I mean $20 a day, that's $100 a week. If you're, you're going plant shopping for five days straight, and that's a hundred um that's four hundred dollars a month that is a lot of money on plants so again plant foldies let me know if you've spent that type of money if you have gone broke i am going broke here and this is the reason why you know your viewership alone helps my youtube channel grow it helps me fund my channel it helps me fund my plant obsession so thank you for that and then all over here, um, we've got some more trending tropicals. Now, this is um, another type of alocasia. I don't know the name again. Um, I think it's alocasia regina. I think that that's the name. But these are the same two I've seen a little while back. I may end up buying this because I ended up finding this al alocasia actually out at Kroger. And they actually marked it down for $6.99. Um, but this one right here is $19.84. I may get it just because I really like that gray bluish tone one of this alocasia really nice looking alocasia and what i found is with alocasia they're a lot easier to grow when you grow them outdoors versus indoors they're less susceptible to spider mites for some reason they had they have just a faster um, vigorous growth and that can be said about some of the philodendron i've shown you like if you want to get your philodendron pink princess to grow put it out in your back patio where there doesn't you know it doesn't hit direct sunlight and it will be okay now i wanted to show you this this is for $14.97 what do you think about this bromeliad right here? Isn't that stunning? It doesn't even look like a real plant, but it is obviously. I got my first um, bromeliad out at Kroger. It was on sale for $2.47. So, you know, it depends on where you go, but that is a beautiful looking phil um, I want to say philodendron. This is a bromeliad. So you've got two different types of bromeliads. You got one that's a little bit more pink. This one's got more um, a yellowish neon um, color about it. I love the stripes on this particular um, bromeliad. They are just gorgeous. And, um, 
you know, they this one right over here is another um, bromelia. This one is a little bit more of a chocolate brown green tone about it. All of these bromeliads are only for $14.97. If I had the floor space for it, I would definitely buy all three. I think that these bromeliads are best viewed from the top. So you would want to put this plant more on the bottom level. And I went ahead and put it back on the shelf. But you can see they've just got a lot of different plants here. I love that this Walmart is always full. So my plant foldies, as I always say on all of my videos, please leave multiple comments, as many comments as you like on my YouTube video, especially after you watch the video or even throughout the video through um, with timestamps. And also, um, I know that a lot of my plant foldies like um, outdoors, um, slash Travis, Luke, you guys always encourage people to hit the like button for my videos. If you are watching this video live or even just watching this, I really do ask that you guys hit the like button for my video if you enjoy my content, just because it really does help push my YouTube videos to even more um, plant lovers that may not have known about this channel. I really want to see this channel grow. I actually set a goal to possibly hit 10,000 subscribers by um, the third week of May. And I can only get that if you guys are able to support me by, you know, engaging with me on this channel, maybe even sharing that on your social medias, your Facebooks with your friends, and also just um, a simple um, hitting the like button helps out a lot. But um, anyways, to get back to, you know, all of the plants instead of my shameless plug, look at these two different types of Calathea. So this is a Calathea Rospicta, and then the other one was a Calathea Dottie. Love the dark foliage on both of them. The other one is, um, tw the first one that I picked up was um, for 1984, and then the other one that I just picked up last was 1497. This one is a very, not so variegated, Epipremnum arium, lemon meringue pothos. I can tell because it's got a little bit of yellow variegation and the leaves are a lot smaller. When you compare it to the global green pothos, the global green pothos has rounder leaves as compared to the lemon meringue pothos. It's got more of a narrow leaf. And then this is a random cordyline Hawaiian tea plant for $5.84. Now, I love this plant. If you grow it in full sun outdoors, it'll get those nice pink um, variegation. And then right over here, we've got a beautiful Monstera Cobra or Monstera um, Stadliana. That one's for 1984. This hanging basket has been here for a while. This is a strawberry begonia. Love the silvery tone of this um, strawberry begonia. The colors are really nice. And I love that um, strawberry begonia shoot out those little babies. You can um, chop them off, stick them in water, propagate them, and you've got another free plant. So again, if you ever want to just save money, you know, the ways you can do it on, on plants is um, you can propagate your own plants. You can multiply your plants through propagation. You can join a community like um, grow folds where maybe people are willing to send you cuttings or even trade plants um, those are creative ways to get your plant collection up versus just going to a store and spending all your money so i have done that before where i've you know got been given plant cuttings i've done trades with people and that's something i may potentially do with our community i do intend to create a facebook page for grow fold so stay tuned for that that way we can interact with each other even more but for now um, let's just continue to meet up on the live premiere chat I have been very good the last week. Super proud of myself for getting a video up scheduled for 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you can plan your day ahead if you want to make sure that to make the plant um, chats love that as well but you can see i've just showed you guys different types of plants that is a japanese aurelia for 1097 i may end up just buying that plant because um, i already have a japanese aurelia it's the camouflage version but again big box store plant shopping it's fun it's easy i do it every day i will continue to make videos for you every day as long as you guys enjoy it but these are my um plant finds like literally i would buy every single plant so there's um basically you know, six plants here. And I am all about that. You know, um, it, it's, it's awesome. I've never really imagined seeing all of these uncommon philodendrons just being available at a big box store. Now, I remember even the philodendron silver sword was quite pricey. And now I was able to buy one actually for $6 at HEB, which is a local um, Texas grocery store. And now they have a philodendron Mayoi. I don't know what this philodendron is, but part of me feels like this is going to be an uncommon or rare philodendron. So please let me know in the comments. I would really like to know the plant IDs, but I will be ending this video quite um soon so let me know what you think
And I'm just gonna keep panning over this philodendron myoi. Like this is still the semi-juvenile form. You notice that the leaves start to get larger and then look at this philodendron um, ring of fire. Plant folies, what, what would you do? If you saw all of these philodendron right now clumped up like this, would you buy every single one for 14, I mean, $24.47. That is six plants right here, each for $24.47. If I had the funds, I would definitely do it. I actually might buy this one. Somebody please give me the plant ID for this. I really want to know. Um, but plant foldies, what do you think about this Walmart? This Walmart is always a home run for me. They typically bring me plants. I found my philodendron golden crocodile here. I bought my um, philodendron pink princess, my philodendron white princess here. Um, I already have a philodendron um, silver sword and I got it for six dollars so and plant foldies let me know what you think and I know for those that love philodendrons here it is right here in all its glory that could be your new plant collection here this could look like a grow folds plant collection I mean if you want to send me some funds I would definitely take it this is Richie at grow folds see you tomorrow